Hey, and welcome back to another video. In this one, we're going to look at another Pi Revit tool, and this one is the Overkill tool. Overkill. Yeah, it is. It is just that. It's a little overkill, but in a good way. So before we get into it, if at any point in this video you happen to learn something, which I hope you do, please demolish that like button, or, or better yet, overkill that like button. Okay, getting into it now. This is going to be a quick one because overkill in and of itself is very simple. And if you are familiar with Overkill from AutoCAD, then you probably know what this does. And you probably appreciate this uh, because it has everything to do with lines. So all you AutoCAD people, you know, yay. I don't, I have no feelings about AutoCAD, uh, but I do love the auto. But I do love the Overkill tool for sure. Okay, so let's hover the, over this and see what it does deletes the lines overlapped by other lines. And it specifically says similar to AutoCAD overkill tool. Great. So it is that simple. And so what I'm going to do is click this and we're immediately prompted with, Hey, what do you want to do? What do you want to take into account? Uh, do you want to consider line weights? And so basically imagine you have lines on top of each other because that's the whole issue here. That's what we're worried about uh, because we have lines on top of each other. We're going to get an error or a warning and we may or may not look there. Like, let's be honest. We may or may not care. Let's also be honest. And let's also understand that we can't see the difference sometimes, which is totally where this comes into play. The, the whole appeal of this comes into play. And so where and when might we use this? Well, we're going to, we should just use it periodically. This becomes a model management tool, something that, you know, you should do pretty often. If you're the one managing the model, just do this every so often. Now the quick and the easy button is, all lines. We just click all lines and boom. And obviously if we want to consider line weights, it's a simple toggle. And all that will do is say, it's not going to be exactly on top of each other necessarily, but if you have a thick line and you have little thin lines underneath, those thin lines are gone. That simple. So <laughs> I could not find a good example that I had. Uh, so we're going to actually end up making some examples. And so by that, I mean, if I click overkill and I even choose all lines, apparently this is a clean model, which I hesitate to agree with, but regardless, it's clean. There were no lines that were moved. So let's start with some examples here. So I'm going to draw a detail line. I draw this one here. It's a two. I'm going to draw uh, this one over it and it's going to be a seven. And obviously they're not fully, you know, it's not fully overlapping, uh, but that's okay. But now I'm going to make a model line and let's go ahead and draw maybe this model line. And then I'm again, I'm going to come back with a thicker model line. Maybe it's this one. Great. You know, we can zoom in here. We can see the difference. And now I am on top of each other. That's the way it is. And that's what we want to see. That's the difference we want to uh, acknowledge and that they're on top of each other. So what do we do here? Well, <laughs> it is as simple as overkill. Now, do we want to take into account line weights? Well, let's actually not do that for now and see what happens. So I'm going to click detail lines and we're going to track these two detail lines. Boom. Yes, we have that one that was moved, removed. And it's going to be hard to tell which one is removed. In this case, it was obviously the thicker line, but if you just do this across the model, it'll be hard to tell. Okay. Well, I want to undo that because we want to try and run this again. So let's, what happens if we do consider line weights? Well, let's click detail lines. Well, nothing was removed. And so this is basically telling me if I consider line weights, um, because they're not the same line weight and they're not fully on top of each other, then it's not going to remove it. So, that's something to be aware of. If you want to be a little more uh, liberal with what you're getting rid of, basically, are they overlapping at all? And do I care about the line weights? No, then that would do it. You would get rid of those thicker lines that way. May or may not want to do that, but I'm just going through this to show you what it will do. Now, if we do the same thing, obviously with uh, model lines, I can not consider and then model lines, I will get that one line removed because it worked. It, it was overlapping completely. And now if I undo this overkill and I do consider line weights, I'm going to get the, no, it's not going to be removed. And why is that? Well, in fact, these are the exact same. These are similar enough line weights. So let's make this a little more ridiculous. How about a six? So this is clearly obvious. And obviously we can see that we're going to now move this to where this six is completely covering that dash line. And these are both model lines. So I can overkill. And if I do consider line weights and I go to model lines, nothing's going to happen. And that has a lot to do with the fact that they're model lines. Uh, they're going to be treated differently than 
detail lines. So I'm going to copy this here and I'm going to actually convert these to detail lines. Convert those. Those have now been converted to detail lines. So now let's go over to overkill and I'm going to consider line weights with detail lines. Nothing was removed. And I bet if I do the exact same thing with model lines, nothing is removed. Okay. And that is because there, there is overlap, but not in a sense that it's overlapping the endpoints. So if I do this and drag it up, what we'll do now is overkill, considering line weights, detail lines, nothing. Now, the second we come into ignoring line weights, then detail lines, these are gone. They're straight up gone because there's overlap, period. And so basically, if you want to consider, again, if you want to consider the line weights, then it's going to be more conservative with what it's getting rid of. Basically, are there, do is there a differing uh, line weights? And so it is nice that by default, we do consider the line weights. So if I click all lines, nothing's going to be removed. Now, obviously, if I don't consider the line weights and I ignore them, basically, they're all the same line weight, then clicking all lines, they're all gone, those thicker lines. And based on what I can tell, and I don't know this for sure, but just based on what I can tell, it's going to favor thinner lines as opposed to thicker lines. And I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, let's go ahead and actually and see if moving these detail lines to the front that are thinner have something to do with that. So moving those to the front. So I'm going to do the exact same thing, overkill. I'm going to ignore line weights and then click all lines. Well, yes, again, like we, like we said before, it's going to favor getting rid of those thicker lines, just the way it is, regardless of these thinner lines being on top or not. That's irrelevant. So finally, the last thing we have, if we look at overkill, it does actually take into account room separators, which is really, really nice. Now, I can't tell you how many times I've gone into projects and I see, if I just look at room separators, I see this kind of a thing where obviously this is just really nice walls that make a room. Well, if I have walls that are, the joins are kind of weird or there's a kind of a number of walls really close to each other, you might get this kind of a thing where you've got walls that are you know, very close in this sense. And that's fine um, in a sense because I have this tool now. And normally what we would do is we'd have to go through this manually and look at it. Uh, but what would actually happen is we wouldn't do that at all. We would just ignore it completely. So what can we do now with this overkill tool? Well, if I highlight some of these, we can see, yeah, we clearly have some overlap and not a ton, but uh, we have enough. And so what happens here, if I go to overkill, uh, consider line weights, doesn't matter with room separated lines because they're all the same line weight. It's just a line. So now with this, I'm actually going to delete all these so we are, can only pay attention. Uh, we pay attention only to these room separator lines. I have no other lines of the project as we saw. So what will we do now if I go to overkill and I specifically choose room separators, we can see one line was removed, but what actually happened? Well, if I highlight all of this, I can see I get all of these lines. And before we had one line that was kind of stuck out here and overlapping this line part of the box. Well, that now has basically been merged into one line, which, hey, that's, you know, that's exactly what we would want to happen because if we have a room separator as a wall or something like that, and it's truly overlapping like that, then it's, it would just continue the room separation. That's totally great. Now, let's take this to another level, and I'm just going to draw a bunch of these lines on top of each other, just like this. And this, obviously, you can see the warnings we're getting are just through the roof. Uh, that's because we're doing this on purpose and we can see, look, look at all these lines that are on top of each other. Now, if this works the way I think it will, all of these lines will become one room separator line. If I select here, we can see we have four of those lines. Now, if I click overkill and then room separators, look, three lines were removed. Well, there were four and three were removed. So my guess is there's just one here. Look at that one room separator line. I'm going to select the whole thing still only one. This is fantastic. This is so great. I mean, that this is exactly why you want to use the tool. It, it takes care of and clean up so many different things. Now let's undo this. And I want to go specifically to my warnings. If I go to manage and then warnings, I can see highlighted room separated lines overlap. Look, three warnings from the three lines. Totally. We know what that is, but am I going to come in here and address these individually? No, like, yeah, I can do this and I can show it and I can delete it. But then if I delete it, that means I don't have it. So what do I do? Well, we totally run this overkill tool and we do that a lot. You know, 
which is why I would not be afraid to run this overkill and just click room separators all the time. I would click this, boom, what happens? Well, those three lines were removed. I have one here, and then I can come into manage and warnings, and look, they're gone. That's totally great. Obviously, I have one more left, but not has no, nothing to do with these room separator lines. So do you want to deal with warnings? Do you want to deal with model man management and like, in the easiest way possible, pressing a button and dealing with room separator lines or any other overlapping lines that don't improve your project at all, that don't whatever. Obviously, the only thing you need to be aware of, and maybe you run this more often this way, this is probably the way I would do it, overkill. Um, I would definitely consider line weights just by default. And by default, it's on, so you don't have to worry about that. So what I'm going to do a lot of times is come in here, boom, run all lines. It's clean now, but run all the lines. It's going to take care of those room separator lines and every one of those overlapping lines that have the same line weight that are on top of each other. Now, it's hard to say that that's going to be exactly perfect because you might have working views that have lines overlapping on purpose, whatever. So just be aware of what you're doing. But obviously the room separator is an absolute no brainer. So that will do it for this video. We looked at the overkill tool in Pyrevit. I love it a lot. I will use it a lot. It seems very easy to use as you can see. And that's it. I will see you in the next Revit video. Have a wonderful day. Thank you very, very much for watching.